There's a lot of controversy about using AI to generate content. And there are people that are really freaked out. They're literally terrified that Google is gonna see that they're using AI to create blog posts or pages or other kinds of content on their websites. And they're worried that they're gonna get one of those big old Google slaps and get a penalty, right? And lose their search engine rankings. And so Google has put out advice saying, hey, we're fine with AI. You can use AI as long as you're providing value and you're following all of our guidelines, AI is fine. But the other thing people are afraid of is that Google's going to change their mind or maybe AI is okay today. Tomorrow, are they gonna decide it's not? So they're worried about this and they want to learn how to hide the fact that their content was created by AI. So I'm gonna show you a technique that I've been using now. It's been working really, really well to take the content I create with ChatGPT, and then I use another tool called Claude to turn it into something that is undetectable by AI. And so we're gonna do a live demo. So while we're recording this with a live audience, I'm gonna be writing an article. I'm gonna go show that it is detected as AI, and then I'm going to try to make it undetectable. We'll see if I can get it. Yeah, sometimes I can get them to where they're 90% undetectable. Sometimes they're 100% undetectable, but that's sort of the range that, I, that I've gotten it into and often 100%. So we'll see, and we'll do that right now. Originality.ai is recognized as as the leading provider of AI detection tools being used in schools to detect plagiarism from the students. It's being used in a lot of different companies. And uh, so we're gonna use originality.ai to run our tests today. First up, what we're gonna do is we're going to write a blog post. All right, so let's go over to ChatGPT. Go to the regular GTP4 default. Let's go with reverse mortgages. So we're gonna start out and we're gonna say, please, Write me an outline for a blog, a extremely helpful blog article about reverse mortgages. Okay, so first we're gonna ask for an outline. And we're gonna say here, I'm gonna start here, I'll say, you are an expert writer, content creator in the mortgage niche market. Please write me an outline. There we go. So it's writing an outline. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a piece of content around it. And I'm going to say, please use this outline to create article as long as possible in length. Okay. And now it's going to write it. So we're going to let it write its content. It may stop partway through because I asked it for a very long article. And if it stops, we'll have to tell it to continue. But uh, we're going to let it write that article. And so what I'm going to do is I will take that content and we're going to run it through AI detection and see what score it gets. And then we're going to try to make it magically human. So I see it still writing. It's actually doing a pretty good job of that article. What I'm doing here in the prompt that I'm about to use, and I'm going to explain a little bit of backstory about how this works while we let ChatGPT do its writing. But what we're doing here is there are a lot of characteristics of human writing that are not native. This sounds kind of strange, but it's not native to the way AI creates content, at least as of today. When AI creates content, it follows a really, it's kind of too perfect, I suppose, and it's too average. It's basically like the average of everyone's writing that it's ever read. So it's read billions, maybe trillions of pages of content, and it averages out the average writing style from all of those different ways. And so what we want to do is we want to humanize that content, and human content has some very specific characteristics. If you can take the, the content created from one one AI, take that content, feed it to a second AI, and then tell the second AI, here's a bunch of human characteristics, rewrite the content and make it human. That's essentially what I've been doing. And I'll show you, we'll do this, what we're gonna do with this live demo. So here's our article. So we're just gonna, let's highlight the entire thing. We're gonna copy it and then let's go over to originality. AI, and we're gonna detect AI content, and then we're gonna just paste our stuff right in there. And then let's call this reverse mortgage test. And we're gonna hit scan now. So it's doing its thing, it's scanning. We can see here we have 558 words of content. And one of the things that does happen when I humanize it is the content tends to get a little bit shorter. If you were writing a, a, an article that you might wanna post on your site, you might use an article that's a bit longer than this, than 558 words. Hey, look at that, 100% AI. Hey, props for um, originality.ai. They detected it, which I expected them to. They've gotten pretty good at detecting uh, content from ChatGPT. So now you know that if they can detect it, Google can detect it, right? So here is what we are going to do. And, uh, we're 
we're gonna paste our article in here just to save it, okay? So that's our original article and we're gonna save that off to the side. And so now what we'll do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna go to Claude, Claude.ai. It is in beta at the time of this broadcast, not available around the whole world. I think at this point, it's only in the US, I think soon to be in other countries, but um, you wanna sign up and get access to the uh, beta of Claude. So now what we are going to do is we're gonna come over to Claude. We are going to use a very special prompt. Again, this prompt I'm gonna share with you, uh, those who are channel members, those who are members of Push Button AI, um, you will all get this prompt. So here is what it looks like. It took me a long time to come up with this. It's very lengthy. So we're gonna paste the whole thing in there. Now paste it as text, but let me show you an example of what it looks like. That's the prompt, okay? So we're telling Claude to rewrite the below content using all of the below concepts in your writing. We're telling it that there's uh, several sets of instructions. This is quite a lengthy prompt, but basically we have identified all of the characteristics of human writing. We were telling it to vary things. We're telling it, yeah, we're telling it to be more human. And again, we're talking about the grammar that it might use. An AI does not use grammar like a human does. It doesn't do things like foreshadowing, like giving a hint of something to come. It doesn't use symbolism. It doesn't use irony irony, doesn't give metaphors, doesn't hype things up and exaggerate them, use vivid sensory details in your imagery. So AI doesn't tend to do that. Grammar, syntax, anyway, there's a lot, a lot of stuff in here. So this is a very gigantic problem. And I will share it with all channel members and all push button AI customers. We have one gigantic prompt. We're going to submit it. Here it goes. Now I noticed today Claude is doing something a little different than uh, last week. When I pasted this prompt in before, I could see it in the little text box here. I could see the entire thing. But what it did is it transformed it into a little text file. So I'm not sure what's going to, how this is going to come out today. This It's doing something a little bit different than when I just, I last tested this. So we copy that and now let's go back to originality.ai and we're going to do test two. We're going to get rid of all this content and we're going to paste in our new content. You can see it's much shorter. See how it got smaller? So keep that in mind when you're doing this. And then we're going to scan again. Fingers crossed. Drum roll, please. There we go. Look at that. 100% human. I was a little worried there for a minute because Claude was behaving a little differently than it did for me like it has been for me normally. But as you just saw, we took a piece of content that was 100% written by AI. We followed that simple procedure and then we put it into originality.ai and boom. So uh, there you go. That is how, if you're a member, if you're a customer of Push Button AI, I will share that exact prompt. It is very large. It's very difficult to describe the whole thing in detail. So for those of you who are not channel members and not a customer of Push Button AI, really we spent a lot of time doing a lot of research. I've looked at a bunch of other prompts that other people are, have used. You know, that maybe there are different previous things that people have done that are not as effective today. I analyzed those and just made a big list of all the characteristics of human content. And I asked ChatGPT, what are other examples of human content? And then ChatGPT gave me a bunch more, right? So I put that together in a big old massive list of descriptions of what human content looks like and how it's different than AI content. And then that's what I based my prompt on. So I then go to Claude and tell Claude to write content following all of those guidelines. That's what worked here. And that's how we have bypassed and tricked the AI detectors, okay? Now, one thing I wanna give you a warning, don't do this so that you can like plagiarize stuff if you're a student, please don't do this to get a pass and get a paper submitted. Um, that's not the intention here. We're not trying to fool anybody. We're not trying to get away with something unethical. This is for people that are maybe just a little bit worried that they might get slapped from Google for using AI content in their blog. That's it. If you're using AI content to create like private members area content, like courses or eBooks or things like that, you don't need this. It's totally unnecessary. But for those who want to use it for public facing content that you want to rank in the search engines, that's specifically where this technique comes in handy. If you're not yet a member of Push Button AI, then what are you doing? So I would like to invite you to a free masterclass. We're going to be covering in detail 
how to create an entire digital online course, an entire business, in fact, that can be set up 100% using AI. And if you'd like to attend that free masterclass, what you're gonna to wanna to do is head over right now to pushbutton.ai slash free class. In that class, I'm gonna show you how we can help two different kinds of people. Number one, if you've got a business and you want to add training, courses, or information to your existing business as a new profit center, or maybe a way to add value to your customers, then I'm gonna show you how to do a detailed 10 module training course, including 50 to 60,000 words of content, have it set up and built for you by AI. Also, if you're trying to start your first business online and you're looking for a great business model to make some money online, then Push Button AI is the right solution. And I'll show you how you can use this amazing tool to build an entire business like that. In a snap, Push Button AI will build an entire course for you create video training, audio training, write your sales page for you, write 30 days of emails for you, create your logo, build your website, set up your shopping cart, set the entire thing up, create a members area so that people can pay you to get access to the course and you get to charge money and keep all the profits. It's quite easy. You answer two questions and you hit a button and it literally does everything for you a logo, a 30-day email sequence, your sales pages for selling your product. It creates the entire training course that you can charge money for. It installs your website, sets up your hosting, launches your site. It even helps you pick the perfect domain name, all powered by AI. You just literally log in and start up your brand new business. So attend the free masterclass. I'll show you a live demo of how it works. I'll explain the entire business model so you can see exactly how does it work and how do you profit. That's pushbutton.ai slash free class. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. You'll see it down below the video down there somewhere. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, and actually we'll make sure that you're notified next time that we go live. We release content all throughout the week, by the way, so we have videos on additional strategies and tactics we'll be dropping to you all week long. Check out all of our useful content. Head over to pushbutton.ai slash free class if you're not yet a customer. Every paying customer, we're gonna be taking today's training. We'll take all the prompts, all the resources, everything that you need to use it, and we're gonna put it in your paid members area. So you'll see it in your AI profits course inside your members area. On that note, I'll see you there. Bye for now.